Hello everyone, my name is Larry Kuntz. I'm President of North American Drilling Corporation. I'd like to welcome you today to the North American Drilling Booth, well number 1A in Nolan County, Texas. Today is Saturday, July 16th, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we're down about 700 feet or so. Uh, as you know, the rig was delayed getting out here, and uh, they actually had some problems with the trucks and stuff, actually getting the equipment out. But we got out, we got set up, and uh, everything is moving right along. Uh, the geologist has been out here, We've got the mud logger set up. The mud logger's gonna be taking samples and everything, but uh, we're not close to any of our target zones yet. Uh, won't be down there until about 3,500 or so. And as you know, we're going down to about 6,800 on this one for the Ellenberger. There are several other zones that we wanna look at, like the Canyon Reef, the uh, Strawn, the Caddo, Mississippian, Wolf Camp, and then the Ellenberger down at the bottom. But I just wanted to get out here and shoot a little video, show you what the rig looks like, uh, give you a little tour of the uh, the uh, location and the rig. And I think they're making a making a connection right now. You'll get to see that. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, wanted to say thank you for participating with us. And welcome aboard on this joint venture. If you have any questions or any, anything at all, please just give us a holler. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. And welcome to the booth number well number one A, Nolan County, Texas. Thank you very much. It's blue line drilling rig number three on the booth, well number 1A well. Here's some uh, drill pipe. This is a, what they call a heavy collar. It's a big thick one here. Very heavy. It goes on the bottom. And what makes up the, what they call the drill string, all of these pieces of pipe, the heavy collar and the drill bit on bottom is what makes up the drill string, which is all the pipe connected in a hole that goes down to drill the well. So you got the drill bit on bottom, a couple of stabilizers, heavy collars, and then the drill pipe. The drill pipe is laid out over here on these racks and then and then and laid up there on the ramp and then they hoist it up and put it in uh, the rat hole for the next piece i'll show you that in a sec we'll go on up here over here over here we have the mud pumps this is the dog house the derrick crow's nest oh there's a mud logger trailer supervisor tool pusher trailer in my trailer. Um, I'm going to go on up here. <clears throat> Fuel tank. Water storage under here. And this tank on the bottom. These are the hydraulics that control the uh, blowout preventer. Uh, the rams, there's these uh, rams that are in the blowout preventer that in the event of a blowout or something, they'll, um, the rams will close on the blowout preventer and these hydraulics is what pressure, uh, under pressure seals off the well. There's the traveling block. This big black hose has got mud going down it to the center of it. Mud travels through the big black hose, goes through the center of that Kelly that square pipe, square piece of pipe, is called the Kelly, and it's connected through the Kelly bushing to the drill string, the drill pipe, and it's all you know hollow, so the mud goes through the center of all of it, down to the bottom of the hole, flushes all the cuttings back up. The mud program is very important. It helps to uh, bring up all the cuttings and coat the inside of the well to stabilize the inside of the well, cool the bit, lubricate, and here is the blowout preventer. This big piece here. This is the blowout preventer. These are the pipe rams right here. These go in and seal off, seal off the uh, well here. And this is the, called the blowout preventer, a very important piece of equipment. Very dangerous place to be. I'll get out of here. <clears throat> 
Here's some casing, piece of casing, eight and five eighths uh, surface casing in there. the doghouse the lockers and winch here's the drill pipe getting ready to go in the hole they'll lift this they'll lift these pieces of drill pipe up up in the air and they put it down in the rat hole here for that that's the next piece that'll be used right here that's the Kelly bushing Kelly bushing fits inside the turntable, which is going round and round right now. You see the turntable spins. Kelly bush bushing in the Kelly, which is this square piece of pipe here. All of it turns, and all that is turning the drill pipe or the drill string in the hole and the bit on bottom, and that's what's drilling our well. This is a this is called a slip right here. When they make a connection, they'll drop the slips. They'll drop the slip in the hole to hold the pipe in place while they uh, add some more pipe. This is a tong right here. And over there is another tong. And they're like, the tongs are like giant wrenches that grab onto the pipe. There's, they'll grab on the bottom of the pipe. The other one will grab on the top piece. And they'll unscrew or, or screw the pipe together using those tongs, those giant wrenches. This is called a draw works, this big blue piece of equipment. That is a giant, basically it's a giant winch. And that cable goes up all the way up to the top of the crown, comes back around. And you know, that's the traveling block. So it's all a giant winch and pulley system that's supporting the entire weight of the drill string. And as you can imagine, the more drill string we add, the heavier the drill string is, the more weight on the bit. And so that's what this gauge over here is, is showing the weight, how much weight we have on the bit. And it's, important, it's important to know that. Um, there's, some, there's some more uh, slips right there, there's a slip. Here is a drill bit. This, this was the surface bit. So this drill bit was connected to the, on the bottom, the stabilizers, the heavy collars, and then the drill pipe. It's a PDC bit. This um, silver rod right here is part of the uh, survey tool. There's another section that they, that they screw on the bottom here that makes it about six feet long. They run this survey tool in the hole every other uh, connection to make sure we're, uh, to check the deviation to make sure we're drilling straight. And this is the drill brake right here. This is where the, uh, the brake man works all these controls, the driller. to control the winch and raise and lower the pipe out of the hole, basically. These chains are used, chains are used also to tighten the, uh, tighten the pipe together. We'll be making a connection here in a minute. When we make a connection, it, it's called making a connection is when we uh, add more pipe. They break it apart and add more pipe to it. Coming in here to the, uh, Dog house, some lockers and stuff. Here's some harnesses. Here's some of our permits. Here's booth 1A. Booth North American Drilling Corp. Booth 1A. 
here's the where they write down uh, the, this is the driller's log where they write down uh, making connections and what all work was going on and then that goes on to the dr daily drilling reports make sure like this and um, this is a chromatograph this this tells us how deep we are we're about 600 feet right now I thought we were at seven um, getting on down tools goes down the hole, pumped over here by these mud pumps. They're cleaning the rig right now. There's these, uh, this is a mud pump and that's another mud pump. They got two mud pumps. The mud is mixed up over there. It looks like those bags, those are bags of mud. It looks like sacks of concrete. It's actually mud. It's powdery. It's mixed up, mixed with water, and pumped. That black hose goes down, flushes back out, and comes out. Go ahead. Comes out over, uh, comes out over here. Goes into the shale shaker, and then you can see the mud coming back out right over there. We're not using the shale shaker yet. We're not using these pits yet because we're not deep enough. But when, we're, when we get down deeper, we mud up, all this will be filled with, these are the mud tanks. And all these tanks will be filled with mud. And it goes through a filtration process to try and get rid of uh, the heavier sand and silts. And all of it goes back down here to be reused, the water mainly. And uh, some mud goes back down here to be reused. They add more stuff and it's pumped back down in a big circle. The cuttings, all the cuttings and stuff fall out that away. Here's one of those tongs I was talking about. Big giant wrench. Tong. a uh, slip. They'll use that in a minute to wet as a wedge. Or it'll go down in the hole and you'll see that in a second. It'll hold the pipe in place. It's a nice day. It's been uh, about 110 out here, 112. It'll be cranking up hot here in a little the mud loggers trailer. He'll be setting up here soon. Here's the shale shaker. When this is an operation, which it will be later, uh, it helps to sort out all the larger particles all the cuttings and stuff, and they just fall out. Try not to. They just fall out here. They go down this ramp. And out into the pit. And these are the mud pits. And we line them and everything so there's no contamination, nothing. There's nothing hazardous about the mud. Um, anyway, it's actually just a mixture of uh, bentonite and lime and stuff like that crushed up. These mud tanks will be filled up with mud and water. They'll all be churning. And 
filtering out some smaller particles. You go this way and filters out, filters out. Here's one of the mud pumps and the backup pump. Too shallow to be uh, mudding up or anything yet. But once we get a little deeper, they're going to start mudding up, and all this will be filled up. Some, uh, the mud is all is a mixture of different stuff like gel. This is hydrogel here, and different kinds of uh, even detergents and stuff like that. There's some detergent. Everything's designed to either make the mud thicker or thinner, thicker or thinner, and, and to control the viscosity and the mud weight. Let's see. This is a uh, lime. That hydrogel stuff is a mixture of gel and bentonite, I think, and uh, they, they mix it up in here. The, mix, the uh, mixing station. And it's just a white kind of powder. But we got to control the viscosity and the mud weight to. Either the mud, the mud also. What the mud is very, very important, and what it also does is helps to hold back the pressure. There's a lot of enormous pressure down the hole. The deeper you go, the more pressure you have. And obviously, right now we don't have much pressure, but when we start getting deeper, we'll have more pressure. And so we need to have the mud weight to, to hold back the uh, the pressure, lubricate the hole, cut out all the flush out all the cuttings, cool the drill bit. It does a lot of things. Very, very important. If, you lose mud pressure, or you have a problem with your mud program, you're in trouble. cleaning and trying to keep mud and everything and grease off of here. This piece of pipe is about 30 feet long. On 
this rig, three pieces of pipe makes a pipe stand. When they pull out of the hole, they'll pull it out three pieces at a time, and they'll stand it up right here on the bottom part on the floor, and the top part goes in those racks. It's a very dangerous job to be up there racking it up, but all this will be, all the drill pipe will be stacked up right here when they have to trip out to get a, a new bid on. They only have to do that maybe, maybe once or twice maybe twice uh, during this drill. It's called tripping for the bit and it's a full trip. A lot of work to get it all out and go all the way back in with it. here in just a minute. All right, I'm gonna, I want to show you something. I'm, I'm trying to do, do this without falling off the rig here, but as you can see, we're drilling the booth 1A right here. Okay. Over there is the TIX booth well. My trailer is 1,200 feet away. And over there, we zoom in, is that sharp image well. Uh, right there. That's the pumping unit right there. There's a tank, it's hard to see in there, but that, that's it. That well was pumping yesterday, but uh, it looks like it's got the head off of it right now. They must be working on it, 1,200 feet away. So we're right, we're right in between those wells. A connection. Kelly Bushen's up. He's about to drop a slip. Here he drops the slip in. Those a song. Lots of ways to get hurt out here. Pull the next piece out of the rat hole. We'll put it on. works together. Pull the slips out, going back in.
That's Kelly Bushin going back in the turntable. It's in, back to drilling. Now we're going to use this winch here to pull up that next piece of pipe. fingerboard up there. They got it loose now. It's like a symphony. <laughs> Good job. Like yeah. Uh, those are called the fingerboards up there. That's what uh, that rack. Where they rack up the pipe. Called fingerboards. We're back to drilling now. Doing that, making connections and getting on down. We reach bottom. We'll be going through several zones and uh, checking the samples and all that, but the electric log is what we do at the very end. Once we get down to bottom, we'll do a Slumberjay comes out and does an electric log for us, and that's that's going to tell us really what we've got. Um, mud logs help and, and they can uh, indicate things for us but it all when it all comes together we look at all pieces of the information together and determine whether or not to complete the well. And we're still shallow right now but everything's going good so far. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If you want to you can come on out here and check it out for yourself. We'll be out here drilling for a couple of weeks. And if you need anything or have any questions just feel free to give us a holler we'll be sending out daily reports and updates i want to thank you again for participating with us and keep fingers crossed we'll see how this goes in about two weeks